What's up, Hello Sword? Welcome back to the channel. So today, let's talk a little bit about the Bad Batch Season 3, Episodes 1 through 3. So I've kind of delayed putting this video out. I watched it a couple nights ago, and I really did not love it. I thought it was slow. I thought it did set up the season, but I felt like the three episodes together should have been maybe one 50-minute episode to call it a day. I just don't know what exactly they're doing here. Again, it was a decent start. It was a typical start, I guess, is maybe the best way to put it, because I've not really been a huge fan of The Bad Batch as it is. And, you know, to have a three-episode arc that just dragged on, it dragged on. And, you know, at this point, we're so we're in the final season. And I get we want to we want to see Omega. So she's grown up, right? And the whole blood thing. Okay, it's interesting. But again, I feel like this could have been done in maybe two episodes, even one long episode. And you know, it's cool that she was able to kind of have that relationship once again with Crosshair. But overall, I just you know, it was fine. And and I feel like every time I talk about the bad batch, it's the word I use. It's fine. We'll see what happens next week. I really thought we were going to get a size Ventress at the end of this uh, arc. And I thought that was going to kind of, you know, make people want to tune in. And, um, you know, they escaped, which we all knew that was going to happen, you know. And uh, we get a little Hunter and, uh, you know, in Wrecker. That, again, that episode was a little more action. But in my eyes, it's like unnecessary action. And I get they don't want to make you go and say, oh, look how easily they found them. But you know what? Did you ever see Return of the Jedi? Did we ever have to see the struggles that they went through to find Han Solo at Jabba's Palace? No. It just picks up and it's just amazing. You know, you 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 kind of assume as the watcher that, like, okay, this isn't just like the next day, right? There's obviously some stuff that's gone on. Uh, you know, Luke is a new lightsaber, so that doesn't happen overnight. Um, I don't know. Anyways, this actually leads me to the real point of this video. And this is this this is the issue right now with Star Wars. Uh, we have a seriously huge problem on our hands, and the name is Palpatine. You know, what, what are they doing? What are they doing? Ryan Johnson ruined Star Wars, in my opinion. But bringing Palpatine back... Somehow Palpatine returned. This is becoming the biggest issue, is that now we have the Bad Batch in Season 3 basically retconning so we can see the cloning process. You know, I think it's pretty obvious what they're leading to. You know, we've seen some cloning in Mandalorian already. Now, it hasn't been directly linked to Palpatine, uh, but you can tell that's where it's going. So now we're starting back however many years this is before A New Hope. You know, what is it? Is it 12 years or something before? I, I don't know. Um, it's it's disappointing that we have to do this. And I get, yeah, and you got to fill in the gaps. But this this area is, it lies the issue. And in my opinion, this could have been solved one easy way. You could have used the world between worlds, completely got rid of the sequels, and started over. And gave the fandom what they want. So that's really, I think, the biggest problem is that we had the Palpatine issue. And because he came back, and now we got everything's got to be explained, so we're using all of these different forms of media to, to make it sense of it. You know, instead of just using the road between worlds and retcon the whole thing and create a Star Wars that we deserve. So, all right, all right guys, I'm, I, if I, I can rant about, about this forever. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Am I off base? Do you agree? Let me know. Um, this video was originally going to be much longer. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm going to cut it short. But I feel like I got the gist of my feelings out. And I've just been frustrated watching this. You know, I, I had mixed feelings about Ahsoka. I have mixed feelings about Mando Season 3. And now with Bad Batch, I never really cared for it anyways. And now they're basically just building toward how Palpatine returned. The Emperor is dead. Dark science. Cloning. Secrets only the Sith knew. I don't know. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.